Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to discuss about confirmatory tetrad analysis in Smart PLS. It's an analysis which is being carried out to uh, resolve that uh, my, is my construct a formative or a reflective construct. So this uh, confirmatory tetrad analysis we can do in Smart PLS, and the mathematical formula which is being used behind this uh, CTA is that what we, what it, it 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 does is. It calculates the covariance between 1 and 2, multiplies with covariance 3 and 4, minus covariance of 1 and 3 into covariance of 2 and 4. Now, what's the whole concept, how it works? Let's understand. If this loyalty is a reflective construct, it is bound to have a high correlation among them. And therefore, this tetrad will reach, uh, uh, will be equal to the 0. But if it is a formative, then this number will be something different from this and it will be higher than zero. So the entire concept is of the correlation here. And on that basis, we are evaluating, is it a reflective construct or a formative construct? What are the rules for conducting CTA? Each construct must have at least four items. The name itself suggests CTA, that is tetrad. And therefore, minimum four items, then only it can run it. Maximum of five items should be there. Path relationship does not matter, only concern about the covariance. Guidelines, you construct the model and you have to check the p-value of all the tetrads. If 80% of the combinations have p-value more than 0 0.05, then we will, it is an indication that it is a reflective construct. Uh, or in other words, if it is plus plus and minus minus, formative, plus minus, reflective, this we will see when we will carry out the analysis. Now, how to run this analysis in smart pls so first of all go in smart pls here and you can see the model now it is not necessary to run the analysis you should convert all of them to formative even if you convert one of them to the formative it will run the analysis for all of them one thing second if any of the construct is having less than four items the cta will not run for that item so first of all let us convert uh, let us convert this thing into reflective. How you can do? Right click, switch between formative and reflective. Now these arrows are moving outside. It will now be reflective. And I will convert this also as a reflective. Once this is being done, you will go and calculate and you will be running confirmatory tetrad analysis. Now you will do start the calculations. Now once this is being done, you will have to see the p-values of this, uh, p-values of all of them. Environmental perception, job satisfaction, and organizational commitment. Now, if you see the p-value of this, it is more than 0 0.05. Moreover, you see CI low adjusted, CI up adjusted, negative to positive, zero in included, negative to positive, zero included, and all p-values are more than 0 0.05, it is a clear indication, it is a reflective construct. Now let us go and see on environmental perception. p-value more than 0 0.05, minus 2 plus, minus 2 plus, it is an indication that it is a reflective construct. Now if I talk about job case satisfaction, again see the p-value more than 0 0.05, and CI confidence interval low adjusted, negative to positive, negative to positive. It's again a reflective construct. Let us talk about organizational commitment. P value more than 0 0.05, negative to positive, negative to positive, reflective construct. Now comes the staying intention. Please pay attention. P value has dropped down below 0 0.05 and it, it includes either positive to positive, positive to positive. Or it can be negative to negative, negative to negative. And in such scenario, we will say that this is a formative construct. Now, let us carry out one case study, which is there. Uh, here, extended model, which is there. That is a corporate reputation data, extended model. And we will carry out the analysis here. Zoom in. And those construct on which only three statements are there, it will not run the CTA for it. So let us go here. This is a case study which is given. Uh, then you will run calculate CTA 
and start the calculation. Now you can see all the tetras have been formed, but there are some uh, there are some constructs whose tetras have been not, not formed. The reason is there may be only three items on it, and therefore for com, for kusel, like you don't have any tetrad analysis. Now how to uh, analyze this data? First of all, see the p value. Count how many tetrads are there, and count the p values. If 80% of the tetrads are having p-value more than 0 0.05 and this includes 0 in it, this includes 0 in it, then we will say that it is a reflective construct. Then we will say reflective construct. I again repeat, you will have to count the number of tetrads. If the p-value is more than 0 0.05, and it, if it includes 0, then it is an indication that it is a reflective construct. Let us see for CSOR. Same way, see the p-value more than 0 0.05. The confidence interval contains 0 in it. It is a reflective construct. See for performance, p-value more than 0 0.05. This, is also, this also includes 0 in it and therefore it is a reflective construct. When I talk about quality, you will have to count the number of tetrads and you will have to see if 80% of them are more than, if 80% if tetrads are having p-value more than 0 0.05, you will say it is reflective. But in case if it is less than 80%, then you will say it is a formative construct. So thank you all of you. You can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.